Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Last time, we obtained our second gym badge, the Forest Badge, from Gardenia. And in this part, I just want to show you something. I decided to that I'm going to return to the old chateau at night in order to show off what I wanted to show off. But then, as soon as I started things up, we never really got to hear the nighttime theme for the Pokemon Center yet. I always thought that it was a nice touch that the music changes during um, day and night cycles. I think this is the first game that started to do that, but anyways. I'm gonna meet you up at the old chateau, specifically the room that I want to show off. Here we are, and I just want to show quickly show you the time. I'm gonna scroll to the time. I'm recording this, and it's showing it in military time, of course. It's 8.32. You can do this anytime past 8 o'clock. That is why I'm here recording at night, when I would usually record... Actually, yeah, I usually record um, at the same time as my last recording. So, like last time, um, I ended my recording session at 1 o'clock, then I started the next at... Um, one o'clock the next week, but anyways, at this night time. So this is my suggestion. Get ready. Examine the television. Let's examine it from where the buttons are. Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon appears as if it will come out. Want to thump the TV? Lucas slumped the TV set. Here in the old chateau, through the television set, is Rotom. Rotom, you would think that it would be a great legendary Pokemon because it has a unique battle theme. Well, it is neither a legendary Pokemon, nor is it that great of a Pokemon. It's decent, it's better than the Pokemon you can catch around here, but let's, first let's look at its stats. It has good stats all across the board, only good. It has Terrible HP how, and terrible physical attacks as well, although you won't be using physical attacks that much with Rotom in the first place. The problem with, that I have with Rotom primarily comes to its learn set. It doesn't have that good of a learn set outside of the moves that it already knows. It, it learns Substitute at level 36, which I suppose would be good for stalling your opponent. It, by the way, would you believe me if I told you that Game Freak actually made games before Pokemon and that they were for the Sega Genesis? I'm talking about Pulse Man, which Rotom might actually be based on. Strangely, this is using the Legendary Pokemon battle theme, even though that Rotom is not a Legendary Pokemon. I mostly compare it to, let's say, the Sudowoodo and Pokemon Crystal or the Snorlax and Pokemon Red. It's pretty much just a Pokemon that appear one time that you can capture. It's... I'm gonna try to catch it, just like how I tried to catch Drifloon. Now, of course, since it's a Ghost-type Pokemon, it will be... Mach Punch will not be effective. So, actually, it's gonna be completely immune to my fighting tank moves. Let's try to use a weaker um, fire-type move, such as Ember. And hopefully not knock it out. Okay, not bad. All right, I can work with this. And of course you start doing that. Ah, I hate double team now. I just hope that I don't get a critical. Okay, that's better than getting a critical. No critical hit, and don't hit yourself either.
Nope, that's good. Let's go ahead and... You know what? It would be all too fitting to catch Rotom in a dust ball. And since it's nighttime, we can totally do this. This actually has a good chance. Ah, so close. And of course, I got a heal. Man, I actually have a ton of super potions. Might as well start using them. How long does uproar last? All right. Um, let's try a premier ball. Why not? Gonna have the same effectiveness as any Pokeball, so... Okay. There we go, you calm down. Alright, if you're not gonna be captured in any special Pokeball, then a regular Pokeball it is. It matches your color anyways. Seriously? Well, it does have a rather low catch rate. Not even shaking once with any of the Pokeballs. Man, the Dust Ball was really my best shot. I probably should have bought more of them. Come on, at least shake once. Or shake all three times and become a successful catcher. Okay. Rotom, the plasma Pokemon. Electric Ghost, height is one foot, weighs one seven, well, 0.7 pounds. Its electric like body can enter some kinds of machines and take control in order to make mischief. I'm not gonna give it a nickname. But there we go! I'm gonna meet you back outside at Eternal City, alright? Ah, uh, back to the nice relaxing sound of the Pokemon Center at night. It's gonna be interrupted by sound effects because I'm gonna be using the computer. That's two Pokemon captured. Uh, overworld Pokemon, as I like to call them, that is, Pokemon you battle by interacting with your NPC. Anyways, next destination? Well, you can try going to the south, and I'm gonna demonstrate what happens if you try. Cycling Road is only for bicycles. Get on your bicycle. Unfortunately, we don't have a bicycle, so... Lucas, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. I've come a long way to help you on your journey as at the professor's behest. Lucas, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you've met 35 Pokemon. Wonderful, yes, bravo. Professor Rowan should be delighted. Here's something for you. If you've seen exactly 35 Pokemon or more, and I just managed to get the minimum amount, if you view the EXP share, if you let that, if you let a Pokemon hold on to that item, it'll gain experience for every battle. It would also gain the same IVs as the battling Pokemon, etc., etc. It's 
Actually, a really helpful item, and I'm tempted to give that to Escaped. And the name Raider is here. I actually am still considering changing Escaped's name to something else. Something more honorary. But anyways... Actually, no. We're not doing that yet. Because we have no real need to. Well, here is a bicycle shop, so we can enter a recycling road. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like anyone is here. Save for this kid. The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. Probably not anything good. You better check that out, then. Thankfully, I don't know why they let shrubs appear here, but okay. Let's enter the building. Or rather, not yet, because as there's been an item over here that's been bothering me. I believe that is going to be a TM. Yes, it is! TM-46 Thief! An offensive attack that allows you to steal items from Pokemon. Kind of like, pretty much Pluck, except it's Dark type rather than Flying type. But anyways, for real, let's go into the Eterna City Galactic Building. Uh oh. Hello, it is me. Me! Ha ha ha! I have startled you, yes? Looker! In disguise. I am, after all, an officer of the International Police. It is only natural that I be a master of disguise. Incidentally, you are a first-rate trainer. Of course, I am very aware. I therefore think you will be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, a word of advice. This building it has two stairs. One of them, a trap it must be. But the crooks of Team Galactic, they do not appear how I say... smart. There should be an easy way to tell the stairs apart. Alright. This area is slightly different in um, Diamond, but not too different. It's basically a straight path in Diamond and Pearl version, so don't worry about it. As a group, Team Galactic has the sights set on the stairs, not this world. Okay. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What? You're not? Then kindly get off our property. Do we have to bring the pain like we did with the cycle shop manager? Aha! Confession! See this, see this building right here? And see how the emulator is kind of giving a little bit of an outline? If you have the event item, which, well, Wi-Fi event item that ran from, uh, I believe it was September 8th to November 4th, 2008, they were, through a Wi-Fi event, you can obtain an item called the Secret Key. If you bring the Secret Key to this area after defeating the boss of this building, you can actually access a secret area right past this machine and behind it, you can get some appliances that, if you bring Rotom with you, Rotom can possess those appliances. There's a fan that will make Rotom a flying type, a washing machine that will make Rotom a water type, a refrigerator that would make Rotom an ice type, an oven that would make Rotom a fire type, and a lawnmower that would make Rotom a grass type. I thought it was really cool and it makes Rotom so much more competitively viable, but unfortunately, that event is long gone, so it's impossible to get it now. Well, not impossible. If you have an old... If you started a new save file but haven't yet used the mystery gift, you can... But it's still registered in your DS game. You can still get those items right now. But for the time being, you cannot. Anyways. Different stairwells. The path... You chose leads to glory. As you can see, however, 
I choose going down the opposite stairs in order to get some items and also take care of these grunts. We are acquiring Pokemon for the most astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. So sorry, sweetie. Team Galactic has no room for kitties. Ah, first time battling a female grunt. Mars was not a grunt, she was a commander. And it looks like, well, Escaped is going to get some EXP. Oh well. Flying type's gonna have a F be super effective against Kong here since it's a fighting type. But regardless, Flame Wheel and Escape might have some trouble here. Honestly, his best move is Cut, and Cut isn't even that good of a move in the first place, so... But hey, if Beep-Doof evolves into Bibarel... Oh my god. Oh, really? Really? Escape didn't get a level up from that? Really? Okay. Rock Smash should be super effective against that Glamio since it's a normal type. Really? I thought that Escape would get a ton of EXP. Okay, I don't care if Escape is asleep. Because he's not going to do much attacking anyways. Stunky has a butt for a face. Okay, that's good. And you survived that too, Escape? Escape is... more viable than I thought. And I woke up that turn and... You're doing surprisingly well, Escaped. You're doing surprisingly well. It's not going to... And you took down the stunk... You're the best slave ever! I feel like I got meddled with. But, but dearly, you're just a kid! It's okay, I'm not interested. Then don't meddle with us. You wanted to go up? Well, why didn't you? Because you stopped me. Okay, you're not gonna battle me? Okay. Uh, what if I stepped here? Really? I have to talk to you to battle? Uh, okay. Our objectives are incredible. Too incredible for me to understand. I'll fight blindly to defend them. And your intrusion won't be forgiven. Blind faith. Very well. Ah, Krogon. No Pokemon we haven't seen. I always like Krogon in the anime. Krogonk. Uh, that's not gonna do you any good. Uh, no need for the critical hit, but okay. Okay, sure. 
What was I fighting for again? You don't even know. What do you have against taking Pokemon from others? Look in any field or forest. Those things aren't exactly rare. Well, there are rare Pokemon, so... Uh... Really? Oh, you're not a trainer. Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. Okay, cool. Let us make progress together, Team Galactic. I guess that's the way up. Let's see how good this Pokemon is. I stole it from some weak trainer. Of course, I'm battling all these grunts and keeping them in because, as you might suspect, completing this area would cause all the grunts to disappear. Just like the trainers in the gym. But I'm very surprised by the amount of grunts you have to talk to in order to battle, though. That was good speed gain. What is this? Wimpy little Pokemon. When I get promoted, I'll demand better stolen Pokemon. Sure. Okay, you're not a trainer. We are conducting research on new forms of energy. We want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon and use it as energy. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Why, thank you! We love it when people come to us to donate their Pokemon. Yeah, well, joke's on you. Even if I lost, I'll just get teleported to the Pokemon Center before you even have a chance, so haha. -ha. And your Pokemon has a butt for the face, so haha. -ha. You know, I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, and I think it's just me, but I like Krogan's torso, how it has those white, how it's all white, and it has that black, those black stripes. Make it look like bandages, which, honestly, seem really cool for me, to me for some reason. Maybe it's just me, maybe other people see it that way as well, but it just looks kind of cool. What do you think you're doing? You can catch Pokemon anywhere, so what's so special about them? Trainers that lose theirs should quit whining and catch them more. Yeah, but some Pokemon are special. Like, take for example, my Monferno that has crazy high speed gain. Or my Bidoof who can survive a lot of hits. Anyways, what was that item that I got? Uh, X special. All right, I think I'm going really interested in using. Got this scientist there. There's the um correct stairs. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the new world order that our boss will lead. New world order, huh? Well, you're different from all the grunts because you're actually using a Pokemon that is actually better. And that's actually a legitimate use for an X for an X item. Didn't really help you much though because you wasted a turn and was able to one hit KO you. This won't go unpunished. Probably because Kadabra is known for having weak physical stats. And willing to do anything to get ahead in Team Collective. One day you'll see that we're are all about is wonder, compassion, splendor, humor, power, awe, and tragedy. Yeah, well, once you get to that humor part, 
is not exactly what you think, and, well, it'd probably be a good 30 to 20 to 30 parts before we get into how that's the case. Anyways, over here you can get a blue shard. Again, you can trade that in to learn moves later on. And a revive re brings the Pokemon back from fainting. What does this last sign say? Not that, uh, machine. Push and nod and follow this path. The road to success. Well, before we go to the road of success, I need to go to the road of recess. If going to the Pokemon Center counts as recess, so hold on. Alright, here we are at the top floor, and I like the new design that they gave this floor with all the stars and such. It makes it all the more fitting that we're playing this at night. But anyways... Working war for World Peace, Team Galactic. Noble cause, but I don't think stealing Pokemon is the way to go about it. What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? I don't know. But before we talk to her... Upgrade! It allows Porygon to evolve. What is Porygon? We'll get into that... 10 to 20 parts from now. Anyways... Eh? Did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokémon? Fine. I, Jupiter, will deal with you. Here it is! It's the second commander! Jupiter, starting off with a Zubat! Should be easy to take out. Even though that move is super effective. How insolent! Take a bite of this, child! Safely as not, her next Pokemon isn't going to have that many super effective moves. It's even better now that we got a level up. Ooh, Faint! Um... Faint is an interesting move. Is a normal type move, really? For some reason, I thought it was dark, but basically, it attacks a Pokemon on using Protect or Detect. It also lifts the effects of those moves. It can be... It can be kind of helpful, but only in really certain situations. It will always miss if the Pokemon is not using Protect or Detect, and unfortunately, you have to really guess your... It relies on a bit of foresight. You need to guess that the opponent is going to use the move um, Detect or Protect before you use it. And really, since not a whole lot of Pokemon actually use those moves, thank goodness because those are annoying moves to deal with, I'm going to have to give up on Fate. Here it is, her next Pokemon, Stung Tank, and it's lifting its leg, and ah, uh, I know it's female, but it still so disturbs me how its Blandemone Sprite features it lifting up its leg. It's just, just seems kind of wrong. Anyways, let's start it off with Flame Wheel. Unfortunately, like its name says, is a tank. It has a ton of HP and... That's not good. <laughs> uh, as you can see, even though that I have used my most powerful attack, it still does not go down. And it also seems to have a high critical hit rate. I don't think that Mach Pun is super effective, but I'm gonna try it anyways. 
Of course, it has a... Citrus? Yep. Not very effective, and yet, still very powerful. Though this should fully restore me. Is that, is that really your best move? Okay. Flame wheel again. Hopefully it can land a burn. No. Okay, it lowered my accuracy, I don't care. It's only if you raise your own evasiveness that things get really annoying. Uh, are you gonna use a potion? No? Really? Because even with a click claw, items still take priority, so okay. Could have sworn that you had a... I hate his cry, and I hate how it lifts its leg. It's a good Pokemon, but still, it's so disturbing. Losing to some child, being careless as me, I couldn't read that text fast enough. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars and Scalest did energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you. But that Team Galactic... They said Clefairy came from space, handed over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but crew back my cycle shop, okay? And he takes a Baneri with him. Alright! We got Team Galactic out of Eterna City. And... As shown here, everybody disappears. So make sure you battle all the grunts before battling Jupiter. But anyways, I think I'm going to end it here. Alright. Actually, no, because there's a cutscene about to happen. Right? Right? Or not? Oh! I got my Pokemon bag. I'm so happy. I feel like riding my bike down the cycling road with it. So you're the owner of the Baneri. Okay. I could have sworn there was the... Well, it has been a long time since I played this game, so... I could have sworn there was a cutscene after defeating Jupiter, but okay. I guess that's it for this part. If you like this video, hit that like button. Feel free to leave behind a comment. And if you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.